unrelenting rain, the weather theme here in West London. We're at Stamford Bridge. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner, Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It is Chelsea facing Leicester City. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And then his younger days, they used to call Mateo Kovacic the little genius. He's not so little anymore, quite experienced now. Stuart, what do you expect to see from him today? Well, Derek, when he's on form, when he's focused, he's a brilliant runner with the ball. He can take on players. He can go past people with ease. And he's got a great shot on him as well. I'm really looking forward to watching him play today. Here's the lineup for Chelsea. Edouard Mendy stands between the posts as Pini Quetta plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. N'Golo Conte starts alongside Mateo Kovacic in central midfield. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal scoring threat. Well, here's how Leicester City will line up. Kasper Schmeichel stands between the posts. Yuri Tiedemanns plays alongside Wilfred Ndidi in the engine room. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And so the battle commences. Running with the ball confidently. Tielemans. Well, they couldn't keep possession. And wasteful from Chelsea. N'Golo Conte. Havertz. Can't argue with that little move. Body in the way. There's a thorough understanding of defending Aspili Quetta. Reese James. Well, he's allowed his opponent to get past him. Cross towards that far post. But it wasn't quite as good as it looked when it was played over. Chelsea have it back now. James. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Excellent defending. Marcos Alonso. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Ricardo Pereira. Here's Tielemans. And space for them here on the flank. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Over it comes. Not messing around with that clearance. Ndidi. Well, he hit it with authority. Close.
And they're trying to get right into his face. Good tackle. Can he put them ahead? And a goal! Now they have their opener, and now they can celebrate. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power, but just look at the follow-through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. So Chelsea get the game restarted. How will they respond to that goal? Well, the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. Space and time for the cross. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Dakar. Madison with it. Tielemans. Now can they make something happen? And let's give credit to the defending. Strength and control, a big part of his game. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. Oh, could have given them an even healthier advantage. Well, it's a good effort to extend their lead, but the game's still in the balance here. Being pressed hard. Werner. Marcus Alonso. A super tackle and they've won possession. Well, as those stats show us, Leicester haven't been able to control the possession, but when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. Natural reader of the game, Kovacic. Daka. Well, couldn't keep it. The Chelsea move still flowing, advantage to them. Well, letting it continue to see if in fact there was an advantage, but not so. Free kick. Well, he's certainly been warned, Stuart. No more challenges like that. Well, he's in no doubt now. He can't foul again. Well, they have the ball once more. This looks promising. Thomas. Good visualisation and execution. Not really the ideal clearance. Well, able to survive that attacking push. Well, they do like to press whenever they can. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. Surely! Oh, he's found the net! And that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted and just what they deserve. Well, let's see this again. He tries to run out with the ball. He has the ball taken off of him. He's made the wrong decision. And suddenly the ball's in the back of the net. Terrible defending.
And so the first half draws to a close here in West London. Not to be too blunt about it, Stuart, but this has been a struggle for him up front. Yeah, I've been really disappointed with him today, Derek. He just hasn't looked himself, but I think it's fair to say he hasn't had great service, has he? So underway again, and Leicester City very much bossing the game up to now. Will there be a response in the second 45? Ricardo Pereira. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. Well, we're picking him out for a reason. He's having a tremendous game in attack, Stuart. Yeah, what a performance he's putting in here. Great movement, lots of energy, and a very good finish for his goal. He's been excellent. Not giving him a moment's peace. Good tackle, it'll be a throw. Marcos Alonso. And just losing control of the ball, and it will be a throw in. James Madison. And the cross is very much on. Well, they haven't overcome all their difficulties. Free kick to Chelsea. Substitution for Chelsea. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. To be replaced by number five, Jorginho. N'Golo Conte well beating his opponent good defending in the end and danger averted for now Havertz well, mopping up defensively and they keep the ball advantage Chelsea couldn't keep the ball now what can they do from here oh he's gone for goal priority was to hang on to the ball which he did Mateo Kovacic well as the stats confirm Chelsea have controlled the ball but their attacking play has been too slow mainly due to a lack of movement of the front players at some point they have to threaten the space in behind the defenders otherwise they're going to lose this Werner, Conte now, robbed them, James Madison, they've lost it, chance to do damage, and let's give credit to the defending, and the counter attack is on, options available, Good looking sequence. Every goalkeeper would expect to catch that one. Havertz. Excellent challenge. Into the final 20 minutes. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw in. And time for the change now. Mateo Kovacic. Rudiger. That is how to apply the pressure. Good pressure high up the pitch. 
Now a shame that he couldn't find the target from there. Just 15 minutes remaining. Committed challenge. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? Straightforward piece of goalkeeping. Lukaku. Good tackle, take it away. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Ricardo Pereira. Well, no stopping him. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Lukaku. Now with Havertz. Nicely timed tackle. And room now out on the wing. And slipped through beautifully. Brilliantly blocked. Reese James. Now with Havertz. And super tackle, and they've won possession. There wasn't much in that offside decision. Could have been in business. And the substitution will occur now. Number 29, Kai Havertz. To be replaced by number 22, Hakim Ziyech. And the referee has deemed that an additional four minutes are in order. Perfectly positioned to take it away. James Madison. Here's Tielemans. Mateo Kovacic. And the referee signals that this game is officially over and disappointment for Chelsea, you've got to say, nothing for them for this game. You're absolutely right, Derek. They really struggle to get to grips with the game. They always seem second to the ball and then just a few mistakes at the back and it's cost them. Poor performance all round. Well, there's a sound reason why we're focusing on him. He's made his presence felt in attack, Stuart. Well, he should be pleased with himself today because he performed really well, he scored a good goal and they won the game. An excellent day all round.